Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kwan G's here, and I'm back with another video. And today, I just want to tell y'all the top five players to ever play RB, ever. And I mean, like, ever from the beginning when it first released all the way up to now. There is five players I have noticed throughout this whole entire time that just been killing it, been very hard to stop. And, and yeah, let's get right into it with number one. I mean, not number one, number five. <laughs> number five, bro. Before I even tell you his name, let me just tell you what he can do. He's a big man, right? This is the first and only big man on this list. He's able to defend your fastest guard, defend your most abusive other big man on the court, and he's able to score at will, mainly by shooting threes. He can shoot over anybody, especially guards, bro. Guards, man, they're too small for him. They just shoot right over them like they're nothing, bro, like they're ants. Splash, it don't matter if it's a 40, 30, he even greened on three people before. Got a 100% shot on three people before in this game, bro. And you guys want to know who that person was that was able to do all that? The number fifth person on this list that was able to do all that, bro? It was no other than Kawana Genius himself, bro. I cannot lie. This man on his defending stretch makes me want to make a defending stretch, man. I, like, he's just too too cool with it he got too much swagger with it like i said he can defend your fastest guard defend your most abusive big and he does it in a way where i can't even explain it you just have to watch for yourself i have a few clips up here but like it doesn't really explain as much as he can do and another thing is he's only a freaking rookie Yes, he's a rookie, and he barely plays the game, but yet he still takes the number five spot, the number fifth spot, because of how dominant he is when he does play the game. All right, let's go on to number four. So now we are at number four, and this next guy on the list is almost as crazy as number three, but way better than number four. So look he's a small forward this time small forward that was the uh, number five was the last big man now we on forwards and the next will be on all the guards who are above these two but number four this man is a small forward he's a playmaker man and uh, I, I swear that man be dribbling fast as hell bro he be going do 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 um, breaking ankles but he's not the type to score he likes to feed his teammates dime his teammates wide open or not and anytime they shoot the ball it always goes in they can shoot in front of five people as long as they caught the ball from this man we are talking about right now it's going in regardless regardless and this man his name is Kawana Jones bro alright so look at him look at how smooth he is with the rock bro and I swear, when he plays this game and feeds his teammates, not only does he it make his teammates better, but he also puts fear in the opponents. His IQ is higher than Zornage's. His passing range and ability is way higher than Zornage's could ever be. If this man played in league, he'd be a demon. But sadly, he did retire. He used to hoop in the streets a lot. But now he be hooping in the sheets with his wife now, so, yeah. All right, that's it for number four. Let's go on to number three. All right, so now we on number three. Number three, number three, number three. All right, so look. Number three, he's a point guard. And actually, for all the rest of these three, they're all point guards, by the way. But he's a point guard. The tallest point guard on this list. Almost the fastest, but just not quite. Of course. Uh, what can I say about this man? He can play make. He can shoot. He can take it to the hole. He can dime his teammates. Help them, help them make more shots. He can take ankles. He's an ankle taker machine. He's pretty much half of what number one can do. No, no, no. I'm going to say a little bit more than half. But he's pr pretty damn good, especially on a twos court. On a twos court, you can't hold him. You can't. It's impossible. All right, but uh, for real, 
This number three, this guy number three, man, his dribble combos, insane, bro. Like, when you look at him dribble, look at him go, you be like, damn, how you do that? Yo, you gotta teach me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but for real, number three, man, he, he's an amazing talent. He, he's an amazing player on the court. But now, let's get into who number three is. Number three is Kawana Genius. Yep, just take a good look at him dribbling the ball, going crazy. He going stoop. He going doom, 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 doom. Ooh, I think he broke dude twice. Mm -mm -mm. That, yeah, that made the man. Kawan Genius. Man, he insane, bro. I, I can't hold him. Like, so when I play the game, I, I, I can't hold him, bro. And he only pro, and I have a freaking, freaking all-star. Or legend, I don't know. But this man, this man is insane. Nobody go, not even a see true death legend. They, they, they just give up. They can't hold him. He's too good. He's just too nice. But not as nice as number one. The reason I can't compare him to number two is because they are they got different play styles. But offensively, not as nice as number one. Defensively, definitely not as good as number two. But he's still better than all the rest. And that's why he's number three today. All right, but that's enough about number three. Let's go on to number two. All right, so number two is a demon. In fact, he has his own nickname, The Beast. When he pulls up to either Park or Rec Center, people start shivering without even knowing why. And the crazy part is, he's only 4'9". Four, four foot nine inches. Crazy, right? That's not like a very tall height when you're playing ball, but that doesn't matter. The size of his heart it's crazy, and I ain't talking about love. I'm talking about menacey, if that's even a word. <laughs> All right, but look, this man is a true menace. He's a true defender, but people like to call him a true menace because he doesn't play like other defenders, no. He's a pest on the court. He will walk up to your best ball handler on the team and just pluck the ball right out of his hands. He will go up to your big man who's posting up. Wait for him to spin. As soon as he spins, bloop, it's out of his hands. This man's name is Kawana Genius. Hey, if y'all see this man at Parker Rec Center with blue hair, just hop off the court if he pulls up on you or don't go to the court he's on. Cause there's a 99.99999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
As y'all seen from the clip, well, clips, montage, whatever you want to call it, number one cannot be explained. You can only you can only see it with your own two eyes, and two eyes isn't even enough to see what he can do. I heard he posterized a slasher, and remind you, number one is a shot creating shooter. He's nowhere near slasher. Well, kind of layups, but not dunk wise. But he posterized a slasher. Ain't it supposed to be the other way around? That's supposed to tell you how goaded, how godly number one can be. And not can be, is. He is godly. But yeah, that's it for number one. And also, that's it for this video. Those were the top five players to ever touch RB. And yeah, um. Like the video if you enjoyed. Like it if you didn't either. I don't care. Like it. And subscribe. Because I'm close to 1K, bro. Shoot. Hopefully by the end of this week, it'll be over. And then we on to uh, other milestones. But whatever. And yeah, this in my video. I might do a double upload tonight, today. If I can, can't be fast enough with it. Or y'all just get an upload tomorrow. So we'll see. Alright, I'm out. Peace.